This is a simple image, but as the saying goes, it can speak a thousand words. The man who took this photo sees his picture as one that can sum up and represent an entire country, and I think it'll be best to let him tell you why. Hi, my name is Jair Abud. I'm Brazilian and live in Sao Paulo. I'm a civil engineer, economist, and also amateur photographer. In April 2008, my wife and I traveled to Maranhão. Maranhão is one of the poorest states in Brazil. One week before our trip, Brazil was upgraded to investment grade by Standard Poor's. When I took this picture, I realized the enormous contradiction between how the international financial market saw the country and how the poor people lived in the country. Standard & Poor's gives countries independent credit ratings based on those countries' finances. The better a rating a country is given, the more positively it's looked upon by investors and the public. Since 2008, poverty has decreased, but not enough to benefit the largest part of the population. The investment grade has not improved human development as we expected at that time. In a country with over 200 million inhabitants, more than 40 million live in a condition of extreme poverty. Half of the population lack basic sanitation and clean water. Rosario, the young woman in the photo with her children, represents one of those poor family. The Brazilian government keeps wasting money in projects that are not essential to improve the quality of life. In 2014, for example, Brazil held the Soccer World Cup and spent a lot of money to build 12 soccer arenas, but the country still lacks hundreds of hospitals and schools. In my opinion, this photo represents what I'm trying to tell. The woman in the photo, a crack addicted, sits in a filthy area, keeping a Brazilian flag during the World Cup. Reports that came out after Brazil's World Cup found that thousands of poverty-stricken citizens lost their homes as a result of new stadiums and infrastructure. Billions of dollars that could have been spent on sanitation or education went to the soccer tournament instead. And still, many poor citizens embraced it. And this is the dichotomy that attracted Gyro to take this photograph. I see myself as a humanistic photographer. My best photos I have shot by instinct. I always try to find situations where human beings are interacting with architecture or nature. In this sense, anyone who sees my photos can interpret them in their own way based on their own life experience. If you liked this episode, click now to find out why these children are living off of trash dumps. About 2,000 people made their living working at Smoky Mountain, and thousands more continue to sift through toxic garbage to eke out a living. Many of these people are children. And, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.